Should have accepted Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, so yeah. The other thing, though, is just to respond. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, yeah. I don't cut so, this point so, 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 in terms of influence, if you were to look at, like, we as Muslims, we want to follow Jesus' teachings. Yeah. And, and, and derive the rulings from his statements. Yeah. The same with any prophet of God. Yeah. But in order for us to do that, we have to first establish what did he really say, mm -hmm. okay? Because I can say to you now, Jesus said massage your mother's feet every Thursday. Mm -hmm. Now that sounds very Jesus-like. It yeah. sounds very righteous, mm -hmm. but did Jesus really say it? Mm -hmm. So you have to have like a way to transmit things back to Jesus. Now, unfortunately what we have, and this is, this is where we differ, yeah. is that the majority of the stuff that, that is attributed to Jesus mm -hmm. has come from Third, third unknown sources, third hand unknown sources. Right, it, but the issue that we have basically as far as what you might say are second or third hand sources is when we deal with the, when we deal with the Old Testament, when we deal with the prophecies that are in the, the Old Testament, whether it be Isaiah 53, whether uh, it be what's the, what's the 53? Isaiah 53, Suffer and uh, yeah, yep. whether it be um, Daniel 9 verse 25 to 27, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be uh, Micah 5 verse, verse 2, whether it be the prophecies of Malachi, mm -hmm. we see the foreshadowing of Jesus non-stop throughout the scriptures okay right and, and we know that there is a time that the messiah basically shall come yeah we also know that it's a law and a statute which is the point that i was arguing here earlier on mm -hmm. that um there is to be a national day of atonement by which all the sins of israel basically have to be forgiven and we know when we go to hebrews that it says that the blood of animals cannot yeah. take away permanently take away the sacrifices look into that so the question that yeah. we have to ask yourselves as muslims when you then say second and third sources mm -hmm. is what happens to the law which turns around and consistently says from the Old Testament Jews that um, you know there shall be a sacrifice and that sacrifice should take away sins. We don't see it in Islam. It's gone. Okay, okay. First thing we do have sacrifice in Islam. Just that would take no points for you. No points yeah. for you. <coughs> Yeah, go ahead, yeah, go yeah. Ahead, yeah. So, so uh, what I'm saying is, if you look into this law, yep. um, especially to do with the, the Old Testament, ex, uh, Leviticus laws and um, Exodus laws, you'll see that these are for unintentional sins. And if you re just read read some Jewish, um, can you kind cite? Of, can you cite me the source that says? Cite me the source. Go to any any that. any Jewish source. Hang on. Firstly, um, we know Jewish that Jewish sources as in as in uh, hang on, hang Talmud on, hang on, or, or, or Mishnah. E or even or? that. Even that. Well, even, we don't accept we'll that. We'll hear this. We'll hear the point. We'll hear the point. Yeah, go ahead. Hear the point. We know now yeah. that there's um, uh, bread, leaving bread. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now that's, there's no blood involved there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we see, as the brother mentioned to you earlier, mm. Ezekiel. Mm. Now this is this is atonement without blood sacrifice. Yeah. So you'll see that the blood sacrifice was designated for unintentional sin. Just go check it up, and then we're here okay. inshallah next week. Yeah, but yeah, you'll yeah. see that it's for an Anwar. 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 Okay, so you're saying it's for unintentional, Un unintentional sin. Unintentional sin. And you're but saying that the uh, Day of Atonement, yeah, which is when nationally all sins are supposed to be forgiven for intentional sins. Okay, but um, what, uh, you'll see you'll see passages that says uh, put your burnt offerings and sacrifices um, in. Was it Jeremiah? Uh, 821 I think it's 821 put your burnt sacrifices and eat flesh for I did not command your forefathers with regards to uh, burnt offerings and sacrifices but this thing I said to them obey my voice and I shall be your Lord the problem the problem hang on, hang on, yeah, point, yeah, point, ahead, point. Yeah. so you mentioned a few things here you mentioned yeah, yeah. The consistent prophecies and stuff like that mm. now we have prophecies in your Old Testament as well that you don't accept which yeah yeah okay go yeah, ahead yeah yeah, yeah. Which and, is, and stay or, stay or to, yeah? Yeah. yeah and we will see that the New Testament usage of these Old Testament prophecies, mm -hmm. and I'm referring to Matthew 2 mm -hmm. concerning Hosea 11, mm -hmm. you'll see that our, our usage of the Old Testament is stronger than Matthew's, mm -hmm. but yet you won't accept our one. Well, Matthew, I don't know that, I don't know that, I don't know I, the arguments about the debate. That, that, that's that's so fine, that's, 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 that's fine. Yeah, but yeah. since you've brought up, I have to address it as well. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So our main point still doesn't change the fact that mm. yes, we accept that yes, an Old Testament prophet would predict the coming of a New Testament prophet. Okay. We also have to be careful now mm. because you follow King James, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Now we know that King James mm -hmm. used very Christological language in his mm -hmm. translations. Mm -hmm. So for example, when we see the, the translations of um, as prophecies in the Old Testament, for, for uh, what is it that the virgin should uh, bear a son? Mm. Okay, we know that the word in Hebrew is Alma. But the thing is, hang this, on, hang on, hang on, the thing hang is, this, you're going on for quite a no, while, no, no, so no, I'm no, not going to get to address every single you. point. It should you. be point for point. If no, no, no. Be fair you, on mentioned, that point. you mentioned, to be honest, you, right, go ahead, you keep mentioned going, multiple keep going, points. I'm just addressing, I'm just, I'm just mentioning the point that when it, that there's a number of things we have to look out for. That the translators 
of the Bible used. Had you said the KJV. Yeah. Right. Chris, so, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on no, no, one hear thing, point, because it's a very point. important point. It's a very important point. I made it yet. I made no, my no, point no, yet. No, 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 are you just saying just the KJV? No, 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 no. More than just the KJV. So, so all of them did. So what, so show me, so what you need to do is, the problem that... Hear the point. Right, right. Hear the, the point. I asked you, what do you follow? You said KJV. Right. The yeah. issue, the issue my, that you Hear my point. I ain't made my point yet. Right, go ahead. Go make it So I'm just making an example that we can see that even the translators even the translators use very Christological language yeah. in their translation. Yeah. So where it says, for example, um, that the virgin shall give birth. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is a translation of the Hebrew word Alma. Mm -hmm. Now the word Alma is obviously yeah. a word to mean a young, a young woman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we can see the context is against that. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say that we have prophecies that are stronger than your, than, than, than Matthew's prophecies. Yep. Matthew, for example, quotes uh, in Matthew 2, I think it is. He quotes uh, Jesus says, uh, for as it was written, mm -hmm. out of Egypt I called my son, mm -hmm. so that the prophecy may be fulfilled, yeah. out of Egypt I called my yeah. son. Now, now Matthew's caught in Hosea 11, mm -hmm. okay? Now we say, hang on, we've got stronger evidences than Matthew. Okay. Istidlal, stronger kind of extrapolation yeah. than Matthew. Yeah. In Hosea, in Isaiah 42, mm -hmm. it talks about uh, the the servant of God, yeah. who will... Um, From Kedar? From Kedar, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the Arab but people. But the problem is when you go to Matthew, point, it shows it's Jesus. Yeah. Right. Again, I'll show you yeah, why Matthew's yeah. reasoning yeah. is weak. Yeah. I'll show you why Matthew's reasoning yeah. is weak. Yeah. Okay. It uh, talks about the, the villages of Kedar will mm. rejoice. Mm. Okay. To this day, mm. the people haven't rejoiced mm. worshiping the God of Abraham mm. until Muhammad. Mm. Okay. It talks about that he would submit his enemies, subdue his enemies who trusted idols. Jesus never came to the idol worship. He came to the Jews. Hit a point. Hit a point. Hit a point. These are just the, the, the Matthew thing as well. Yeah. Now we'll see uh, that he that uh, he's going to be a light unto the Gentiles. Yeah. Um, he will be a, a mighty man, a warrior, and mm. he will subdue the uh, the idol worshippers. Mm. But in that day, the the followers, yeah. i.e., my servant, the yeah. meaning the people of Jacob, yeah. will not follow him. Yeah. Okay, and that's exactly what happened. Mm. Now, when Matthew, we, this is a clear thing. It mentions his his lineage. He mentions what kind of person he will be. Yeah. It mentions that he will um, he will he will be a warrior. It will, mentions that he would uh, fight against the idol worshippers. Mm. Uh, this is clearly. We We've got the, the time, uh, so we've got the location, we've got the, the, the distinctive features mm. that the, the people of Kedar are now worshipping the God of Abraham mm. after they worshipped idols and there was a fight that took place. Mm. All of this clearly uh, fits Muhammad. Mm. The, the, the serv my servant, the people of uh, Israel, mm. would not follow him. Mm. That clearly uh, follows Muhammad. Mm. Now, when Matthew quotes, uh, out of Egypt I have called my son, mm. and says, as it is, is the prophecy has been fulfilled, fulfilled mm. yeah. out of Egypt I have called my son, yeah. We'll see that that prophecy in Hosea mm. is completely against mm. the context. Matthew is mm. completely taking it out of context. Okay. Because mm. out of Egypt, I have called my son, mm. read Hosea. Mm. The Hosea says, mm. but they are an idolatrous, idol, idolatrous people. They turned away, they rebelled. Is that is that referring to Jesus? That would be referring to the Israelites. Exactly. Yeah. So how yeah. can Matthew now use a prophecy that applies to evil people yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now and use that to apply to Jesus. Because now, when we, we use, yeah, sorry, I'm course. gonna wrap it up here. Yeah, yeah. Now, when we quote a prophecy, mm -hmm. we're saying that this is talking about a righteous person, this is talking about an, a person who, who the Arabs are gonna rejoice mm -hmm. um, after worshipping idols, they will now worship the God of Abraham, um, and he will not, um, he will go through the hardship, and the people in that day will not follow him. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, either the, the, the people of Israel will not follow him. Mm -hmm. So, these things clearly apply to the Prophet Muhammad, and they don't apply to Jesus. Well, that's where I have to disagree. And the reason why I have to disagree is, say for example, even the first point that you mentioned with Matthew. Mm -hmm. Matthew basically uses the word, the Greek word, uh, Parthenos, for virgin. Mm -hmm. That is not set the same as, uh, as uh, Alma, for yep. one. So that would refute that point. The second point but that Matthew's I would make... Matthew's after Jesus. Of course, I know that. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, so Parthenos, and, but when you were talking about uh, 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 the scripture for that, which is from where, Isaiah? Uh, when I'm talking, yeah, I think it's Isaiah. Yeah. yeah. So when so I that's my point. When Matthew speaks, yeah. and he the script and the text that he's using, it's it's in Greek. So he uses Parthenos. He doesn't use something which is similar or parallel to Alma. Yeah, but Matthew's after Jesus. I realise that. That's what. Yeah. That's exactly what. So, my, so my how point. can how can that be used as a prophecy um, when the actual thing that preceded Jesus mm -hmm. is Alma? Right. But if you have Alma, yeah. yeah Matthew is showing the context in which it is used, the proper context, because what you're basically also inferring is if we have Alma, Alma basically, uh, from, from the context that you're using basically, could almost be a woman that has, has fornicated and had sex out of marriage. It means a young woman. Yeah, but yes, but there's, there's, there's only literally. two there's only two spiritual states or two physical states it's not, in it terms of how you say can I listen to your points? Yeah. yeah. yeah? There's only two, there's only two uh, states that a woman could be in, whether it's my wife or your wife. Either she's had sex with me or she hasn't. 
Matthew is clearly saying with the context that he's basically using, she's not had any sex. When we then look at the prophecies, basically, for Christ coming, which at, at the end of the day, even Islam to a certain degree agrees, he hasn't come through the seed of Adam. Yeah. So therefore, that's how I would answer that, right? Yeah. Right, so what was the other point that you mentioned? No, no, so, just to address that one. Yeah. Just, just to address, address that one. Matthew is obviously, as I've mentioned here, yep. in Hosea, yep. he reads the Old Testament through his bias. Yeah. He's, yep. he's reading it through his bias. Mm -hmm. the, the Old Testament, we see that it's talking yep. about an evil person. Yep. He just uses the part that's relevant to him and applies it to Jesus. Right, so, the, so, my, so, so my, just, my, just, just, just to finish. Hang on a second, because I know the point that you're yeah. making, and I'll get to that. When we have prophecies sometimes, we have what's called a type and we have an anti-type. The type that uh, uh, Matthew is basically using in is an anti-type. He's taken that text out of it, or that context, and that's what he's set in. The rest of the prophecy basically doesn't necessarily need to fulfill yeah. because he's used the anti-type. Exactly. And, exactly. we, and, and therefore that we and therefore that's what we have because we know Christ. Exactly. We know Christ was in Egypt. Exactly. Yeah? And, he came out. and why did he go to Egypt? Yep. He went to Egypt because he was under they were under pressure from, exactly. from Herod. Exactly. All the babies essentially were killed. Exactly. So therefore, if he's using it and showing it in that context, that's fine. Exactly. Whether you want to, to debate about the rest of the passage. Yeah, I will debate. I will debate. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, that's fine. I'll, tell, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because You've given it a fancy name, an anti-type, yeah. but in all, in all due respect, mm. he's quoted out of context. Mm. The context doesn't apply. Now you can put as many roses as you want mm -hmm. around it, you can give it the best, most fanciest name, mm -hmm. he's taken it out of context mm -hmm. and applied it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That shows his bias. Mm -hmm. Now I'll go one step further because we're talking about meanings of things. Mm -hmm. I want to go one step further. Who was Matthew? Who, uh, who was the historical Matthew and who was the author of the gospel you now call Matthew? Right. Are they one and the same? Right, so first thing that we know, yeah, yeah within uh, Jesus basically starting his ministry and picking uh, his disciples, yeah, yeah. Matthew and John were two that were part of the original 12. Okay, okay? Yeah. now I don't know the direct scholarship, but as far as we trace it from, from New Testament, uh, through somebody maybe like Arrhenius or others, via Polycarp, is that these guys were the originators of the gospel. Now the issue that we simply have, have is this, in, yet again, that's where we go back to Old, Old Testament prophecies. The Old Testament prophecies depict how Christ would come, the sacrifices basically are foreshadowed of uh, when Christ would come as the Lamb of God, and that's why therefore we have the Passover Lamb, which for some strange reason, the Passover Lamb is missing from the Quran. The Passover Lamb is missing from the Quran, uh, we have um, the Passover itself is missing. It's also missing from Jeremiah as well. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if it's missing from yeah. Jeremiah because Jer it's Jeremiah, covered. Jeremiah it said it's added. No, 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 no. no. So it's, it's, not, it's there in the Torah. Yeah, and Jeremiah it's, said it's there it was in the added. Torah, and not only that, we know that the, the Jews keep Yom Kippur in particular because of that foreshadowing, but, but, but that symbolism. Know, we also know the Jews added a few things to their religion, and they removed a few things from their religion. Yeah. Such as what? So, for example, if they if they were following their religion correctly, mm. they would be able to see Jesus. Mm. Okay. Oh. We know that the Jews now would not eat a, a cheeseburger. Okay. Why is that? Because in Old Testament it says, "Do not kill." A, do not cook a lamb in its mother's milk. Yep. Okay. Yep. So then they went further than that, mm. and they made a ring around the law, as they as they say to use their terms. Now they can't eat something dairy and something meat, right. even if it's. Hang, hear my point. Hear my yeah, point. Hear my point. Yeah. So so now we know that they've added things and they've taken certain things away. Mm. So we know that the prophets would prostrate. So show me where they've taken that away from. I, 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 in, I, I, in, 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 so show on, me where they've taken I, that I, away I'll from. Give, I'm giving an example now. So we know that the prophets prostrated. Mm -hmm. Jesus himself prostrated in the garden of Gethsemane. Prophets from from <laughs> all from <laughs> time all the way back, they, right. they prostrated. Right. We know now that the Jews are not allowed to prostrate. Right. Why? Because it resembles idol worship right. in the in the, in the Go back to this thing uh, that uh, is uh, mentioned uh, around the cheeseburger. What I want you to do is just, just quote. No, hang on a second, because you've made a statement. No, 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 no. It's a definitive statement. Let me, I was trying to get somewhere. That was a side no, point. No, no, no. But I need, no, you can't bring in a side point and not try and have at least the evidence, the substantial uh, uh, evidence to, to you, base you've your. You've asked where they've added something. I've given yeah, one so example. What I'm saying, yeah. No. So what I'm saying is, from uh, what uh, from what book of scripture or from from what tradition are we talking about? From Torah through to Tanakh. Talmud, to ta oh, well, more. we don't believe in the Talmud. That's, yeah, but, that's the problem. No, no. The, no listen to listen about, to the claim. No, no, listen, no, no, okay, okay, please. But, listen, but listen I don't follow listen, Orthodox Jews. No, no, no. So, but listen to so the claim. So why would I would I bring in the? So for example, listen to my claim. Just, no, 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 no. I never made that claim. I never made that claim. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm saying this in the Talmud. Yeah, it mentions this. Now you don't accept Talmud. Yeah, of course not. But the people that the people of the Talmud are the ones who gave you the Old Testament. 
no, 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 because Jesus was against the Pharisees. He was against those that came so with how, the old traditions so, 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 of things that they so added where, on. So where do you get so, your Old Testament from? What? Where do you get your Old Testament from? The Old Testament comes from the Jews, but not the Talmud. Oh, no, you no, don't no, accept no, the Talmud. I've told you that, so that's a self-defeating no, point. No, that's fine. Yeah. But the same people of the Talmud yeah. are the same people that, that transmitted your ta the, the Tanakh. No. Who, tra who transmitted your Tanakh? It's not, it's not the Pharisees. Who transmitted your Tanakh? Is it the Pharisees? It's, it's more than the Pharisees. It's not it's, the Pharisees. We've got so many, in the time of Jesus, mm. we had the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Essenes, That's right. and, and, and the rest. Right. Yeah? So no. show me something that says that the Pharisees I'm, transmitted listen, the Tanakh. I'm not talking Pharisees. I'm not saying Pharisees. I'm saying, uh, I'm saying the Jews in general. Now, I'm trying to go well, to... Well, there you go, but that's, hear, it's a lot point, of non sequiturs. It's, it's a lot of points that don't hold the weight it's, that you're trying to put behind them. All I've got to say is, how, yeah. where do you get your Old Testament from? The Old Testament, essentially comes from the Jews. But there's a cut-off oh, point. Yes, there which, is a cut there is a cut-off point. Which, which yeah? Jews? Pharisees or non-Pharisees? Uh, non-Pharisees. Uh, have you got how do you which non-Pharisees? Well, you'd have to show me where any of those that were the prophets, say for example, or Moses was a Pharisee. Can you do that? That's not my claim. At oh, all. Well, they, so that's that's, that's the claim, claim that which it rests upon. That's not my claim. The Pharisees the claim came way. The Pharisees upon. came way after Moses. For example, when does the Pharisees the, came way does, after when Moses? When does the Talmud come? The Pharisees. When came, does the Talmud come? Talmud has different uh, levels, but I'm not. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, hang on, okay, hang on. okay. Yeah. So mm. from uh, from the time of first century mm. all the way to the time of Islam, basically, we have the Tanaim, period. The Tanaim. We have the Masorim. We have different different. Um, Periods of the Talmud, but that's not that's uh, not point. So okay, that's, okay. No, no, so no, no, let me no, no, answer. No, 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 because it's like it's like it's question. like you're trying to speak without me responding to no, no, no. small points, and then we continue. You just it's not a dialogue me, at the moment. You're asking me a second no, 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 question. No, 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 no. You asked me. No, but it's not. It? Your facts are not correct. If your facts were correct, I would agree so go on, with go on. you. So my point is, we don't see the see the Talmud until at least 200 AD. That's what they're basically saying. Do you know who Judah Hanasai was? No, I don't. Okay, he was somebody. Okay. Somebody from the year 100 to the year 200, mm -hmm. this is when he lived, that yeah. period. Yeah. Judah Hanasai. Yeah. Okay, do you know who Gamliel was? No, I don't. What? No, Gamliel don't. was the one who. Yeah, 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 Gamliel, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Sorry, so yeah. Judah Hanasai, he was. No, Judah Hanasai means the prince. Yeah. He's the main kind of source of the Talmud. Right. Okay. He gets. He claims to get this from Gamliel in a time of Paul. He may have done. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's my may, point. No, no, that's, I, I agree with that. Yeah, I can't no, disagree yeah, with that. You just, said, you just said I've, my, points, my facts are wrong. Right. The point I mean is that. Even if he gets it from Gamliel, yeah? Gamliel never accepted, from what we know within scripture, Gamliel never accepted Christ as the Messiah and the yeah, Lord. Yeah. So therefore, it is not the same, it's not the same what we follow in terms of theology from the Old Testament I, through to the New Testament. I'm, 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 therefore, and clear, it's I'm not, I'm not saying we need to follow the Jews, by the way. No, I you, believe you, you I, brought it in as a wholesale argument. No, no, no. I believe mm. that the Jews were wrong before Jesus. I it's believe, your belief. I, you believe it as well, my friend. I don't. I you don't. Do, no, do, no, 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 no. Hear my claim. No, no, hear my claim. No, 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 hear my claim. I don't. Hear my claim. I don't. How many times were the Jews cursed in the tongues of the prophets in your Old Testament? How many times did you read the end of Deuteronomy mm -hmm. when Moses said to them, "You wicked and and, and that's, that's right." And, and what did hang on? Yeah, go you ahead. wicked and stiff-necked people. Yep. You what you've corrupted when I'm alive? What would you do after my death? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know that this is an ongoing thing. Jeremiah curses the prophets and so on and so forth. But this is all I'm getting bogged down in the thing. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. point is yeah. this. My point is this. Two. I, I want to make one claim, but because yeah, yeah. if I, I feel like if I make two, we're going to get caught, that, caught down in the yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, they, the same claim applies to both Old Testament and New Testament. Mm -hmm. I could make the, the first claim, how do you establish your Old Testament? But I'd rather go with New Testament. How do you establish your New Testament? The New Testament. Ma is, so, for example, yeah. Matthew. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Matthew, yeah. and we'll use that as a case study. Mm -hmm. Now, if I was to go further than that, mm -hmm. I would say that you're. I'm a, I haven't asked your uh, theology on Jesus, but I'm yeah, assuming yeah. you're a Trinitarian. Yes, I am. You're a tr yeah, yeah. Trinitarian. But not to the degree that you might find within the Nicene, uh, the Nicene, Nicene Creed. So you, so you reject the Nicene Creed? Yeah, to, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because Jesus said to call no man father. Mm -hmm. Okay? So in terms of the concept of God being revealed in three persons, I do. But in trying to say that they're all necessarily co equal, I don't know that. I cannot claim that directly. This, this is, but I, I, I commend you for that. I commend right, you for thank that. You. I commend you for that. Why? Because mm. um, the, the distinction between the father, mm -hmm. in, to use that kind of language, mm -hmm. and the son mm -hmm. is clear yes. and unambiguous. Right, right. The father is greater than I. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I was to ask for kind of, if you were, if you were to say, okay, they might not be co-eternal, but they're all God. Mm -hmm. We believe in the Trinity. Mm -hmm. I would ask you, just to, just as a case study now, yeah. could you give me one example of scripture from Jesus' testimony, not somebody later, from Jesus' testimony to substantiate that they are all God? 
Yeah, I would. I mean, the one that we use most commonly, which you probably know, is John 8, verse 58. Absolutely.